And it's always a pleasure to have JJ Kinahan join us from TD Ameritrade, the chief market strategist, especially when your investor movement index numbers are released. And that happened today. Uh, it increased Thanks, to 4.55 in June. That was up from May 4.35. JJ, what does that mean? Because I know the team wants to ask you about what people are buying and selling, but you're looking at millions of accounts and you're telling us a metric that tells us what. And what it really tells you, Adam, and first of all, thank you guys for having me, is um, the exposure our clients are willing to take to the market overall. And so we've seen it increasing for the last three months. There's been a little bit of a narrative in the media that retail clients are just buying everything with both hands. That's not what we're seeing at all. In fact, if you look historically, our clients are a little bit on the you know, lower to middle end of their exposure to the market overall. One of the interesting things, I think, Adam, is that our uh, millennial clients increase their exposure at a much faster rate to the market than that are, I'll call, traditional clients. So I do think that, you know, the optimism among younger people is certainly higher than it is among the more traditional investor, which I think is a good thing overall. You know, you can call it exuberance of youth, whatever. But I also feel many younger people feel more immune to the coronavirus. So with that, they you know, are willing to say, hey, the economy is going to get back into gear at a faster rate than perhaps a traditional investor. Hey, JJ, it's Julie. What's interesting hey, that we get into what they have been buying as a reflection of that sentiment you're talking about, um, because as you say, there has been a lot of talk about retail investors piling in. But when you look at some of the stocks that people on your index have been buying, Boeing, for example, some of the cruise lines, for example, um, I mean, isn't there sort of a higher burn risk there, right? Because yep. those stocks had started to recover and are coming back down again because that recovery is not materializing. No, I think that's a really good point, Julie. And, uh, you know, uh, part of it will depend on what is the time frame they're investing for, of course. I do think there still is a, a great belief, particularly in the airlines. As you mentioned, there's Boeing, there's Delta, there's Southwest. And Southwest actually being driven more by millennial clients. I, I, you know, the, the cruise lines I find very interesting because that's been one for the last few months our clients have bought and continue to believe in that longer term they are going to get back on their feet. Now, you know, you're, the point being, there is more risk in the cruise lines, as we've seen. They've already had to delay things once. I do think that with the airlines, people definitely feel that they'll get back going again. Uh, I know, you know, United had some not so great news yesterday, let's be honest. But right before that, early on Monday, we had the report that we saw 25 percent for the first time of normal traffic going through airports. So I do think that as People, you know, start to see uh, others travel, et cetera. They want to travel themselves. That's an area where people want to be involved longer term. Hey, JJ, it's Julia. Um, I kind of want to, like, zoom out a little bit. And one thing that's caught my attention lately is gold, just the move in gold above 1800 I'm wondering if maybe you're seeing some interest there and what might be driving that? Because normally you think of it as a safe haven, but is it maybe because investors aren't as attracted to treasuries given the duration risk there with the low rates? Yeah, I, I think, Julia, that, that the last thing is a great point because uh, people aren't as attracted to the you know 70 basis point 10-year rate as perhaps uh, they would be at other times. You're seeing two things with that. Number one, you're seeing clients buy stocks that have yields that are near three, four percent. And right now there's quite a few of them. Uh, to the point Julie made a minute ago, if you're getting those kind of yields, you may be taking a little bit more risk than you were on some other stocks. But the other thing is gold has also become uh, that sort of play also. What I'm interested to see is are many people playing gold as sort of a place to store money through the election because they seem to be a little bit unsure as to where we're going to land on the election, not necessarily want to invest in, as, as you mentioned, in some of the fixed income products until that sort of stays out. Uh, I, I would expect that demand for gold would then continue through the end of this year. JJ Kinahan is joining us from TD Ameritrade, the chief market strategist. All the best to you there. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.